Hi guys, today we have a Xbox Series X. Now, uh, the customer said they took it somewhere else because the fan uh, was making a noise. I've got the original fan here somewhere. Uh, the original fan is this one. That was inside the machine. Uh, apparently it was making some weird noise. Um, so let's uh, investigate further. But they have put another fan in it and what they're saying now is that this fan is not working at all. So when he's using the machine, uh, it doesn't come on. It should kick start straight away. So when you power the machine up, that fan should spin. Should be fan spin uh, on on power up. So let's let's have a look um, and see what's going on with it. So what we'll do is set the back cover off. We've got you have you might have so a couple of tabs here, and maybe a sticker over this one uh, all the way across. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Uh, and um, it will reveal two screws. Take the two screws out. And I'd recommend just putting it into a, a little tray like so. Okay, and this should pop off from this end. Just get a screwdriver in here and see it just a flat blade or something, and this will just pop off. You know, don't don't bend it so you break it, uh, or even from the side it will it will come out. As you can see, oh god, I'm making a meal of it, aren't I? Okay. There you go. You can even use one of these uh, smudger tools that you can get from uh, from the links below. Uh, that make kind of. I'm going to show you these. Are, these are quite good. They won't damage. In fact, use a smudger tool. Don't use a, a screwdriver because they're a bit more kind of friendly on the plastics. There you go. Okay. There you go. Use one of these. Don't use metal. Ignore that thing. So put that to one side, and you've got the you've got the connector here. So let's just power it off and see if we do get any fan spin. So, you should be able to see through there. You can see the fan blades, uh, can you not? Yeah, there you go, you can just about see the fan blades through there, can you see them? Uh, not lighting is not the best for, but there you go, there's a fan. So we do have power up, as you can see the light's on. But the fan is doing nothing. So, I mean, I would have put the original fan back in and just left it as it was and said, right, okay, you know what, couldn't do it, mate. Uh, you know, I don't think they paid. I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not sure what the story is. Um, but I would have put the original fan back in for the customer if, if I couldn't repair something, put it back as it was. Simple as that. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to disconnect the power. I'm going to remove uh, the, the fan connector. And we're going to put in the original fan. I want to see what's going on with it. Um, and see, be careful of the flexors that are nearby. Pop the connector off. Not sure. Fan connector. The fan is the fan is just there, and it's got a, a retaining screw, which is that big one there. You need a Torx bit uh, to remove that. Uh, what number is this Torx? Uh, God, what number is it? T nine. Yeah. Okay. So um, <clears throat> this is the connector. So I'll leave that in there for now. So rather than stripping it all down and taking the fan out, we'll put the original fan in. Okay. And see what we get. So here's the original fan connector. Just gonna leave it on there for now. Put the power cable in and then lift it slightly, press the power button. Right, so it's spinning. Right, so we know that the the fan that they've put in there oh, is faulty. But if you come close, you can maybe hear I heard a noise. I heard a noise. I'm not sure if you can hear that. I'll put it next to my um, mic. Okay. Right, so you can you can see that it's trying to power up. So I reckon this fan is faulty. So let's pull the power out and disconnect the original fan. Now I've got a brand new fan here. I keep them in stock. You can buy them from the links below, and uh, from the link or links below. And I'm going to plug this in. 
like so. And put in the power cable again. And as you can see, that's already spinning, so press the power button. You can hear the noise and start up. I want to plug in the HDMI as well. Uh, uh, but actually, I don't need to. But look. Right, now the, the original fan was spinning and stopping, spinning and stopping and making a funny noise. So that's typical fan failure. So what we'll do is remove the fan housing and we'll put in this fan and I think that will be it. So let me just show you how to do that, okay? Let's, put that, let's get this junk one out of the way, shall we? Put that to one side, don't need that. Um, again, it's a T9 connector. Get that out. Why am I unscrewing it with my hand when I've got an electric screwdriver? Anyway, okay, so this will just lift out like so. Very easy. We'll put the Xbox uh, just on the side for now. And you will it will reveal four screws. So let's do it this way. So I'm going to do it in a way that you don't forget how to put things back together. So you've got four screws. One, two, three, four. They need to come out. Even with the screwdriver kits, you know, I've got them in uh, the links below. You can buy them. Uh, elect uh, I've only got manuals at the moment, but uh, there may be electrics coming in soon. Well, there will be electrics coming in soon. This one is particularly good. Cool. I like it. It's quite heavy duty. Uh, and sometimes you need a bit of weight to unscrew something. Okay, so I've unscrewed the, the fan from the housing, and you've got this. Uh, the, the fan wires, they're routed through uh, through the fan uh, housing. Okay, so we'll push, push that through. It's got a little bit of a, a hole there for the connector to slide through. Push that through there. Okay, and again, oh, you don't need to pull the whole thing out. Okay, so we're going to do that, lift it out. So I'm going to get the original, get the fan now, do it the same way, and pull this wire here. Okay, that will sit in place. So what I'm going to do now is just going to put one screw in. Uh, just give me a second. All right, where was I? Sorry, I had to deal with a, a customer. So yeah, um, so you need to route the the, the wires through uh, the the fan housing. So make sure that they again you can use a spudger tool, so you won't you won't damage the wires. It's not metal. And then, Make sure they go in the same way. And that goes through there. Okay. Right, so you've got <coughs> a few screws as well. So it goes in there. So that is now in place and ready to put back into the console. Let's bring the console back to the frame. Okay. And this bit goes at the top. Well, you'll figure it out. You won't get in, you won't get in any other way anyway. So again, the same thing. You've got to route it through this, through the couple of these channels over here. Makes you wonder why uh, whoever has worked on it before. Sometimes you know what. Sometimes a customer does it themselves, and they don't tell you. They don't tell you that. Oh well, yeah, I did it myself. You know, but, you know the score. They have a go, which is fine. Which is what you're going to do, maybe. If, you, if you've got a damaged fan, you can do the same thing with this, aren't you? So um, <clears throat> let's put the the back cover on if I can find it. Right, okay, it's over here. Now the top bit goes in first because it's got this groove that needs to go underneath. Uh, the actual housing of the console. You put it into place, uh, and you've got a couple of clips at the bottom, make sure they go underneath. Push it in. Oh, ha! What have you noticed that I forgot to put in? What have you noticed? That. I forgot in the, the retaining screw for the fan housing. That's a two minute job.
Yeah, sorry about that. The uh, my other light was in the frame just there, wasn't it? What well, annoying is that? But you get the gist of the video, don't you? Right, okay, let's put this in. Put in the two green screws. And what we're going to do this time, we're going to power up the console with the HDMI connector. Uh, display connector as well. We're going to put it onto the screen. So let's have a look what we get, shall we? I'm going to take it off. There you go. Should see a display in a moment. Right, it's doing something so you can see it's uh it's restarting now and you can see the fan is spinning perfectly very quiet a very silent fan uh, no issues whatsoever so yeah I, I i don't think it's been to a shop i think i think the customer took it apart themselves ordered a fan from wherever and the fan is faulty so I'll give them the old uh, the fan that was uh, that was you know that was in there. I'll give them back, give it back to them, so that way they can get their money back. So anyway, I hope you've uh, enjoyed the video, and uh, please like and subscribe. Thank you.